It was a bold and surprising move by President Morsi, sending a message after a long power battle with the military that he is in charge. After more than two decades, Egypt has a new defense minister. General al-Sisi's appointment, along with a new chief of staff, were announced on state television by the president's spokesman. The president of the republic has decreed the following. First, to appoint Chief Justice Mahmoud Mohammed Mickey as the vice president. Second, to refer the Field Marshal Mohammed Hussein Tantawi Suleiman, the chief commander of the armed forces, and the Minister of Military Industries to retirement as of today, and in recognition of his services to the nation, to grant him the Nile Medal and to appoint him as advisor to the president. In a speech Sunday night, Morsi praised the armed forces and said he wanted them to concentrate on their role of protecting the nation. The decisions I've taken today are not directed at any specific person, and I did not intend to embarrass any institution or narrow the freedom of people born free. I did not intend to direct my decision at any particular person to send a negative message or bad intention. And God knows what I meant by these decisions. I meant the good interest of this nation and these people. In addition to the sackings, Morsi annulled the controversial constitutional addendum that transferred much of his power to the military. Instead, he issued his own addendum, giving the president full executive and legislative powers. The decision was made a week after an ambush in the Sinai left 16 Egyptian soldiers dead a real security lapse providing a first opportunity for the president to make sweeping changes to the military establishment. A general in the military council said the dismissals were made with their consultation. Some analysts say the new defense minister, El-Sisi, also a member of SCAF, was key in engineering the shake-up and getting rid of Tantawi. But the sweeping changes have caused a political earthquake. By getting rid of two of the most powerful men in the country, Mohamed Morsi has set a new, stronger tone for his presidency. The months to come will show whether these moves will disempower or simply reconfigure the military council. Shirin Tadros, Al Jazeera, Cairo.